Should we get started with the minutes, Roy? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so I'll reconvene the public session of the um, June. Uh, you're calling to order the public session. Right? Well, we called we called to order a public session, and then we went into executive session before, right? All right, I didn't have that on the agenda, but okay. Well, we went straight into executive session, so nothing was discussed okay. in the public session. Um, okay, so the first item on the agenda is the approval of the draft minutes from the regular meeting from May 28th, um, which have previously been circulated. So can I get uh, an, a motion to approve the draft minutes? Motion. Thank you, Jen. A second? Okay. Jack? Jack, second? Yeah, sure. Yep. Oh, Jack. Any discussion or questions or comments on the on the, the minutes? Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Mike? Mike? Mike, we need a roll call vote from you. He's on mute. Hmm. Yes, aye. Sorry. Okay, thank yeah. you. Got it. Um, I think, I think uh, Dr. Kelly, you're up. Is she there yet? Let's see. Uh, I don't see her on yet, John. I know she was having difficulties. Um, so, Brad, do you see her trying to come in? Uh, no. Do you want me to send her the URL again, or? Yeah, yeah I thought I just did, but um, let me. She's. Uh, I think I'm getting something from her now. And she, um, we, yes, Brad. Can you send Brad, it to her again? Email. We'll do. Can we skip to the? Are we allowed to skip to the? Um, yeah. Uh -huh. financial? yeah. So Dan, can you take us through the financial action items? Sure, I'll start with item A. It's uh, our typical year-end transfer resolution. They're prioritized. So with anything uh, that we wind up with surplus wise over the half a million that we're allocating to um, uh, offset the tax levy and then anything additional that gets us up to 4% of next year's <laughs> um budget which uh you know roughly would probably be i don't know an additional ten twenty thousand dollars or so for that as well um uh we're gonna fund um the teachers retirement system contributions not to exceed four hundred thousand dollars and the, the annual contribution uh, or transfer to that new reserve is limited at 2% of uh, the salaries for the people who would be in there. So that's about $20 million. That's why it's at about 400,000. And if there's anything beyond that, we'll fund the uh, capital projects for salaries. And we're limited uh, to funding that reserve at a million dollars annually. But so if, I'd be surprised if we even get there, but um, it'd be nice to be able to keep adding on to that. But uh, so, Dan, the four hundred thousand is is a is a cap. It's a, it, there. The limit is uh, two percent of the uh, salaries of the people who participate in the teachers retirement system. So, round numbers, uh, we have about twenty million dollars worth of payroll between teachers and administrators. Okay. Um, who go to this, uh, go into the teacher's retirement system. So 2% of that's about $400,000. Okay. Um, there's two more. Connie, do you want us to take them one by one or do them all together? Uh, that's Dan's call. How did, how did you I'll, I'll just move on to the next one. Okay. Um, we're setting uh, tuition rates for next year. We're just increasing our current rates, which were set by the Seneca Falls formula a few years ago, uh, by the amount of the budget. And, uh, you know, we accept these uh, tuition students if we have room. I'll probably be pushing to, uh, to and who knows, uh, if we have room at certain levels, I may be throwing uh, leaflets onto car windows, you know, the way next year's budget is shaping up or something. But uh, we'll see. But uh, kindergarten through sixth grade, mm -hmm. roughly twenty-one thousand seven dollars. Uh, seventh grade through twelfth grade, uh, twenty-six thousand seven hundred and fifty-four. Uh, and uh, applicable children of teachers. That mean applicable. Um, applicable being defined as those who were not grandfathered in. 
uh, $5,742. And then C, uh, the Finance Committee met with our consultant in a Zoom meeting last week and got some very bad news and had some, uh, you know, a, a long discussion about what we should do about flood insurance. Um, this is a budget breaker for us. You know, we, we budgeted $700,000 for insurance and this puts us over budget. So we'll have to find money somewhere else in the budget for, to do it. But uh, I think the conclusion of the finance committee um, was that, you know, we can't, it's a little early for us to go out and try and self-insure on our own. We have to uh, carry coverage until we see, uh, you know, a comparable flood event to what we had um, that's handled by the pumps. Um, so we're, we decided that at least for this year and we'll revisit annually, uh, you know, we're just going to sit back and take it. Uh, we went, we asked about higher deductibles, you know, we asked what about a one or $2 million deductible that we can self fund, you know, um, that deductible ourselves. And they, and I think the, the premium difference was about $10,000 or something absolutely ridiculous. Um, so what what uh, the um, what the consultant uh, did uh, uh, also bring up what was the um, our excess liability policy, which covers us liability wise from twenty five million to fifty million. Um, that premium doubled also. So he recommended we actually drop that cover. Um, and limit our liability coverage at 25 million. He didn't think there was a problem with that. Um, he's never seen a school claim above that liability wise. Um, so he didn't think there was an issue and we agreed with him if we dropped that to kind of help with everything else. But again, this, this slate of coverage is an increase of almost $100,000, which is uh, tough to stomach. But uh, the, the, um, the reasoning, according to the consultant, is just an overall uh, beating that the insurance uh, industry has taken, and they're taking it out on uh, policyholders. So unfortunately, we're, we're, we're stuck with that for the next fiscal year. And then D, uh, we want to re-up with A&A &A for... Uh, a year, you know, this is a typical con cost plus contract and uh, cost is going to be about the same, uh, at least until another um, uh, prevailing wage increase is put through. Uh, but our contract um, uh, allots for that. And then E is uh, the change orders. Oh, not, I'm sorry. It's no, E is. Um, the it the uh, settlement that we did with um, uh, Royal Coach last week in the uh, Bronx Phillies Chester Pelham and Tuckahoe consortium. Uh, there were a lot of drafts flying around. Apparently, we were supposed to get one approved that had Steve DePaolo's initials on every page, and that was not the one that was put forth uh, before the board. Of course, I said, why can't we just take the signature page, which is the same and send that anyway? And Stephanie, of course, said, that's not the way we do things legally. So she recommended that we take it back to the board and uh, have the board approve the, uh, this copy, which is essentially the same as the prior copy. And that's it for financial action items. So that's A through E. Yes. Okay, so can I get a motion to approve um, financial action items A through E? So move. Okay, Jack, and it looks like Tom Evans is waving it for a second. <laughs> Thank you. Um, any questions or comments about any of these um, proposed resolutions? Uh, that, that flood insurance situation is painful. It is, Jack. Um, yeah. I, I, I'd like to know what their strategy is to get this addressed by next year. Just waiting until then, until the next strong rainstorm, because um, we had a few between now and then. I mean, between yeah. then. Um, so 
we had it doesn't we, seem this doesn't seem to hold water we had no a, pun intended. <laughs> we had a long discussion jack about whether we should tell them to go take their uh i'm, sh their I'm sure you did and I, do, I don't want you to rehash it but i'd like to have a strategy mm -hmm. but for yeah. not getting to this place again 12 months from now no, I think I think it is important though that uh, one of the considerations we we considered was was going naked, and we have we have the um, the the insurance reserve, which would have funded which would have adequately funded the last loss we had. You know where water just seeped into the building uh, from uh, Meadow Avenue, but it would not have covered uh, the two prior hurricane Irene in 2011, and then they microburst in 2007. And, uh, then we were thinking, well, you know, the, the cost to clean that up, if we bonded out the debt service is probably less than the annual premiums and in insurance we'd be paying. And, you know, so we thought about that. And then, then in the final analysis, it was, it was, boy, you know, this is kind of a little early on to make this decision. And if, if it goes south on us, we're going to look real stupid. But I, I, I appreciate it. I, <laughs> I think you're right. I understand what I'm looking to forward towards is 12 months from now. Sure. That's you and me both. And not, be, and not being in the same place next June. No, nope. well, the only way to get to the same place, Jack, is to, is to decide to go down our own and self-insure. And, and not having the history of another catastrophic storm and knowing whether the five pumps could mitigate the damage, we, we didn't think it was worth the risk right now. I, I, if we get I to, agree. If we get I agree. One of those major, if we get I to one of those major storms and the pump takes take care of it, we can, we can feel confident self-insuring, but I don't think we felt confident at this point. I support the decision now. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm not the, questioning. That's, that's the only alternative. Agreed. Yes. Hey, hey, Jack, I think one of the things here is that there's, there's two issues here. You got the five pumps now versus, you know, one, zero or two pumps. And then you have the insurance market. The, we the, also, the, we the, also the, have the, the pipe, the bigger pipe from Meadow Avenue mm -hmm. over to the right. five pumps. Right. But, but, but the increase here is more the insurance market. It's got not it. our improvement in mitigating a flood the insurance market is went up extraordinary this year for all businesses and in commercial uh places that, that's doing business everybody's going to see these types of increases and next year you could see a a drop of 20 percent would have nothing to do with the five pumps mm. that's just the way that insurance market is got it and, you know, we, I, I think experience is going to help us over a year or two, but I, I, I don't see us being going in the market next year and saying whether these five pumps stops any type of floods and we're going to get a big discount. I don't think that's going to be the case. And I think, I think, Mike, what's troubling me is I think we heard that from these consultants two years ago. Yeah, they were hoping they would, they would have a story yeah. to tell. And I think what happened is not, nobody's listening. How long have we had these consultants? How many years? Oh boy, we, we had them, they were on board when I came in and they, uh, I'll tell you what, the two incidents we had, um, especially uh, filing the claims and, and helping on the back end uh, after losses, uh, you know, has been invaluable. Um, you know, this this was kind of a shock. I was hoping to at least hold the line and maybe get a reduction. And so, you know, I would have budgeted more if I if I had seen if it had been told or had seen this coming. Okay, <clears throat> thanks for the commentary, folks. Any anything else on items A through E? Okay, so we've had a motion and a second and discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 I heard my name. So, but, yeah. Uh, aye. Anybody against? Great. Um, Rachel, are you on? I think you're back. You're on now, right? I'm on. Terrific. Welcome. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, we're going to go back to, to, to section B and hear from um, Dr. Kelly. 
Very good. Um, good evening, everybody. I have just a few um, personnel items uh, this evening, and it's rather exciting because it is um, making some significant changes to our high school counseling department. Um, as you are aware, um, Anna Batacola has announced her retirement, and as a result, we conducted a comprehensive search for a new director. And that search included many constituencies, including board members, parents, administrators, students, teachers, and counselors. And um, our top candidate ended up being one of our very own. And I'm here before you this evening to um, recommend Erin Kind as our new Director of Counseling, um, effective July 1st. And so that is the... Um, first agenda item I'd like you to consider. And along with that, we have um, openings for two other high school counselors. Um, we received a number of um, resumes of candidates who were interested in these positions. And again, had comprehensive searches. And as a result, we put before you this evening, Deanna Hasanjaikai and Alyssa Zelikoff as high school counselors that will start their probationary period in the fall. Although I am also asking you to consider to approve summer days. So they have ample time to not, over, not only overlap with the current counselors, but to start meeting families and students so that the transition is as seamless as possible. Thank you, uh, thank you, Rachel. Um, any, uh, can I, can I take all of those motions together, Connie? Yeah. Okay. So um, it sounds like there's a motion uh, for the appointment of Aaron Kind as the guidance counselor director, and then um, the appointments of two new guidance counselors plus the supplemental time over the summer. Correct. Um, can I get a motion for that, please? Motion. Thanks, Jen. Second. Can I get a second? Second. Thank you, Mike. Um, any questions or comments? Maybe I'll, I'd ask one. So, so Rachel, is the idea that for the for the the new guidance counselors, families would be informed of who who their person is, and then there would be Zoom calls or in-person meetings uh, over July and August. Um, exactly. With them? Okay. And would that be prioritizing juniors first, or is it just kind of whoever you can get first? No, it's prioritizing, prioritizing juniors. seniors. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. Um, any other questions or comments? Exciting to see these candidates. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anybody aye. against? Aye. Nobody against. Terrific. Well, uh, uh, congratulations, Aaron, and congratulations to our new uh, additional guidance counselors as well. We look forward to meeting you in person and seeing what you guys can do. Thank you for uh, Great. signing on. Great. Um, I guess we're back to uh, Dan, right? Yes, we have uh, facilities action items. We have change orders. Uh, last week, the facilities committee met uh, with... Um, uh, representatives from LAN, our architects, and SAVIN, our construction managers, and reviewed in depth, uh, let's see, six change orders for uh, Nyram Inc. and one from Bertusi Contracting. Uh, all of these change orders are being allocated towards the allowance on the contracts, uh, so they don't increase the um, the uh, the contracted amounts beyond where they are at the moment. Um, and we also discussed another change order coming down the uh, line for digging out the, uh, the abandoned oil tank, which is going to be larger than these and will result in a, a contract eventually. It's still being negotiated. But uh, these were mostly discovered conditions with the exception of one that we asked for. We asked for uh, changes to the windows in the third floor addition to be operable uh, instead of uh, just fixed. Uh, teachers like to be able to open their windows when they have the opportunity to do so. So um, 
we asked for that one. The others were, you know, all kinds of discovered conditions. Um, and were reviewed by the facilities committee uh, with a consensus to go forward with them. So that's, there's seven of them, is that correct, Dan? Yeah, there's six in the uh, general contractor uh, contract for Nyram Inc. and one for Bertuski Contracting, which okay. is the uh, HVAC. So is this a single resolution, Connie? Uh, yeah, it could be single resolution. Uh, resolution, they have change orders numbered one through seven. Okay. Um, can I get a motion to approve the uh, change orders one through seven? Motion. Thanks, Tom Evans. Second. Thanks, Jack. Um, any questions or comments? All in yep. favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? Okay, thank you. Um, I'd just like to actually thank both the facilities and the finance committees for meeting in the last uh, week or two to go through this. It's all, you know a fair bit of work to go through that stuff. So thank you for doing that. Um, good work. Um, Connie, I think we're next up. The, there's a there's a meeting scheduled for July seventh for the reorg meeting, and then we have public discussion. Do you see anybody coming? I, in? I don't see anyone. Brad, do you see anyone on your end? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Any other items that that, that uh, we need to discuss? Great. I think we're done. So, can I get a motion to adjourn? Motion. Move. Tom and then Jack. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Have a Thanks happy everybody. Fourth, everybody. Happy fourth. Thanks, Bye. everybody. You too.